Wake up, Ted. Wake up. Bear, wake up. What in the... Why are you yelling? You passed out. No. <clears throat> I was just... Just resting my eyes for a minute. Shut up and listen. I was in the auditorium just now and saw some commotion up here. Up here? It seems someone snuck up on you and hit you over the head with that bottle. Sure. Why not? That's what happened. I think whoever knocked you out locked the door behind me. Wait, we're locked in. Most definitely. Hmm. Any other exits? There's a projection window, but the projector is too close. You can't squeeze through. Okay. Let's see if you can move that thing somehow. Broken. Can you fix it, Bear? No. Besides, there's literally another one that works right next to it. It's an on-off switch. Pretty self-explanatory. It's not spinning anymore. I'll just leave it here on the floor. Hmm. It seems any type of film could fit here. Hmm. This could be our way out. But the projector is in the way. I can't reach it. The projector's in the way. Broken. Can you fix- No. I can't move the projector right now. It's locked in place. A working projector. That's neat. It's filled with stuff, I guess. Good guess. It's locked, as established earlier. I don't have the key. We need to find another way out. Wow, look at all of these. Human Story 2, The Codfather, The Lizard of Oz. I know. They have some good stuff in here. Ah, uh, I guess it's differently tabled. Okay, just get out. I'm really trying, kid. Hmm, could be something useful inside. It's a wrench. I'll take it. Bought of old Carrot Hill. Someone hit Ted over the head with it. Yeah, those bastards, you know. Pup Fiction, Twelve Angry Hens, Citizen Dane. Seen any? All of them. Betty used to make me take her to the cinema all the time. Betty? Let's not. I'll take this one. Maybe we can use it on that window over there. Huh. It's as thick as they come. Must be something important. Hmm. It seems any type of... That's a good idea. I just need to move it back a bit before I start tampering with it. Hmm. I can't use that there. Hmm. I can't use that there. I can't reach it. The projector's in the way. Hmm. I can't use that there. No, not yet. I feel like I need to do something else first.
Hmm. I can't use that there. Can't use the film there. Can't use the film there. That's a good idea. I just need to move it back a bit before I start tampering with it. I can't unscrew this by hand. There. We should be able to move it now. Can't tighten the screws by hand. It's resting on these small rails. Can't tighten the screws by hand. That's a good idea. I just need to move it back a bit before I start tampering with it. It's resting on these small rails. Let's lock it in place. It's resting on these small rails. There. We should be able to move it now. I'll take it with me. It should be fine here. I can't find any use for it. No, not yet. I feel like I need to do something else first. There. We can get a bit closer to the window now. What are you even doing here? It was your sister's idea. It's... this whole thing. Hey, where is she? How come you're here? She had to take care of something. She asked me to step in for a bit. She did? That's what I just said. Hmm. Anyways, I'm not explaining all of this to you. Why not? You'll be gone as soon as Amber gets back, so what's the point? We both know this detective game isn't your cup of tea. Superhero boy. She... She what? Where is she? I told you. She had something to do. You know, in real life. Hmm. She hasn't told me anything. Well, she was in a hurry. All this sounds really strange, kid. You know that. Look, you can talk to her when she gets back. Get off my case. Fine. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here first. And then I'll brief you in. Now, if I could tie this to the window, maybe we could use a projector to pull it open. Let's lock it in place. The window is stuck. I need to find a way to yank it open. Okay, this could work. Bear? The film looks strong enough. Go for it. Great job, kid. Vandalism at its best. It's too high to jump. We need some kind of rope. Fiction. All of them. Betty? Let.
this won't work. I better try something else. A working projector. That's neat. This sheet is too short by itself. I'll take it with me. We can tie these into a rope. There! Now I can use it as a rope! There we go. Holy shit, kid. You actually pulled it off. There. Nothing to it. You didn't pull a muscle, did you? Pull a muscle? I'm made of stuffing. Anyways, let's get going. Go where? What were you even doing here? Okay, quick briefing. Robots are disappearing all over the city, and their union hired me and your sister to find out who's behind it. And? And what? Who's behind it? What do you? We're in the middle of the goddamn investigation. Sounds like sloppy work to me. Yeah, like you'd know what work sounds like. Fair enough. There was this guy who went missing, Robbie. Left a coat behind with a movie ticket. So? The date on the ticket. It was the same night he went missing. Okay, I get it. Anyways, I didn't find anything. But somebody else was apparently bothered by us snooping around here. That's good. How's that good? Relatively. It means we're on the right track. Let's go back to the entrance. Rossum, the old robot who works here. He must have seen someone enter after us. To the entrance, Ted. Keep it down, God damn it! What is this, loud idiot day? So, where is this robot of yours? Hmm, I guess he left. He left, all right. Left everything wide open and all the lights on. Is trust not valued anymore by your generation? I can't tell if you're being serious. I'm not. Where the hell is this Ross guy, Ted? Rossum. And I don't know, kid. He was here before. He let me in. There are bolts all over the floor. And it kind of looks like... God damn it. You think? He's gone, kid. Whoever locked us in there. They've got him now. So? Now what? Look around for a bit. See if you can find anything. Sure. Planet cheese? What the? What's the deal? Who knows? These new ones. They're all the same. This one feels especially cheesy. I'll take it with me. I could use it as a club, maybe. This could only really stop you, Bear. Was that a short joke? There's no one here. And I could see some signs of struggle. Nah, I don't want to sell tickets. These screws. They belong to old Rossum. How can you tell? Stainless steel. All the robots are using them. Plus, they weren't here before. I'll pick them up. Hmm. It's some sort of flyer. Jungle Jazz Bar? It says, get your ass down to Jungle Jazz Room this weekend and try our famous Southside Fizz. One free drink with this coupon. Take it with you. Um, I feel like it's an important clue. Hmm. The coupon part was torn off, Ted. Throw it away, then. Who cares? I'll take it with me. Maybe we could use it somehow. Just trash. I don't feel like going through it. You and me both, kid.
Let's head back to the Union and report to Lifty. Never took you for the by-the-book guy. Me neither. But what else are we going to do? Stand here like a couple of boobs? I mean... It all started a couple of days ago. I just got released from the hospital after two weeks of intensive care. I got messed up bad. And by her, of all people. Betty was always on the emotional side. And when her blood gets to boiling, all hell breaks loose. It's what I really liked about her. The bullet grazed my left ear, the doctor said. And if it weren't for the fall, I would have gotten away unscathed. But then, I wouldn't have learned anything. She tried to do me in. That much is clear. I can't really hold it against her. Not after what I did. And I'd rather have her do it than some lowlife down at the docks. No point in crying about it, really. No point in doing anything at all anymore, I thought. Amber pulled me out of it for a while. Made me take on this case. I guess it's better than doing nothing. I have to keep my mind busy. When I'm left alone, I tend to languish. Anyways, this case, it's all sorts of wrong. Someone is hell-bent on taking all the tin heads out of commission. Parts are being left behind in dark alleys. Mouths are being kept shut, and blind eyes are being turned. Lifty Workovsky, head of the robot union. Odd broad. She was the one who called us. I guess having all them robots missing is starting to reel in some real bad rap. After this last guy, Robbie disappeared. We went snooping around his place for a bit. There was nothing out of the ordinary, but... We found this ticket stub in one of his jackets. Not much of a lead, but it was the only one we had. Amber was supposed to meet me at the cinema, but she was a no-show. Flint's a good kid. I have nothing against him, but we never spent all that much time together. Seeing as all the women in my life decided to collectively quit, I guess this is as good a time as any. I just hope the kid won't slow me down too much. Well, you sure slowed us down back there. I'm shorter than you, goddammit. I can't walk as fast. Well, maybe if you would pick up the pace a little, I wouldn't need to wait pick on you. Pick up the pace? It's, it's not. You, isn't it's it? not all about it's the step size, else's kid. Fault when things I'm don't shorter, your and therefore way. have shorter steps. It's basic physics. What are you? Hey! You could have walked hey, a bit slower, as I'm saying. Who's this kid now? This is Doug. Dougie. He sells insurance. Name's Flint, ma'am. I mean, really? Ted? How many of these kids do you intend to put in peril? Is the girl dead already? She's fine. He's stepping in for a bit. Listen, we were at the cinema just now. We found a ticket stub in Robbie's jacket. I imagine so. The Union had a meeting at the Lux that night. And you thought now was a good time to mention this? You're a real piece of work, you know that. Oh, careful you don't fall off that high horse, Bear. You seem fond of falling lately. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Anyways, there was another one tonight. You ruined another bar owner with your excessive debt? Rossum Heel, the old guy who sells tickets. Know him. Yeah, but... He went missing tonight. Holy motherboard! Ted, you need to do something. This is starting to look really bad. Yeah, starting to anyways. Wanted to let you know you're off the paper daily. Robbie worked there, right? He was an accountant there. Go, you two. Get there fast. As fast as our feet will carry us. Which, in his case, turns out it's not that fast. Don't you own a car? You're like 40. A car? He barely owns a pair of pants. I like this kid. Where did you find him? He was on sale down at Stupid Kids Depot. Want him? I'm all set. Get out of my office, Bear. And next time, show me some results. Yeah, yeah. See you around. Bye, Miss Workovsky. Take care, kid.
Hey, Sam. Ted, you're healing up nicely. Only on the outside. I went to see you at the PC General. You're out cold, though. That morphine, let me tell you. Literally the only good thing about that place. Yeah, plus all the healthcare. Sure, if you're into that sort of thing. Listen, Sam, I didn't come here to reminisce. Right, you're here because of Robbie. How could you know that already? It's his job, kid. There's a saying in Paper City. When in doubt, ask Blabbermouth. There's a saying like that? No, I just made it up. Catchy. I thought no one would be here this late. You mean no CD? He's always here. I'd rather if he wasn't. Why? You plan on doing something shady? Only if you consider breaking and entering shady. Go ahead. OCD's arranging tomorrow's print. I'll cover for you. Thanks, Sam. I owe you one. You owe me more than one, Bear. I keep a tab. You, lowlife. I missed you. Good thing Betty's not a great shot, buddy. It's nice to have you around.